What is up, ladies and gentlemen? It's Tickler Nick here. Today we're gonna start off our first video of the Z125 build series. Right now, it's nighttime. It's about 11 o'clock. We're gonna get rid of the whale tail. That big old ugly thing. Getting out of here. We got a TST Fender Illuminator kit coming in tomorrow, and that's where we're gonna pick up the video. But as of now, we're gonna take the seat off and we're gonna take off the whale tail and get it ready for tomorrow. All right, so the only tools you're gonna need to remove that thing is a 10 millimeter socket and a Phillips head screwdriver. So I have those right there. Also, one other thing that you might want is a pair of gloves. I took it off earlier. I nicked my finger, cut the skin off, so it kind of hurts whenever I gotta wash my hands. And uh, since it's dark out, I'm gonna have a little headlamp as well. And other than that, that's all we were going to need. So let's get started. All right, so the first thing you wanna do, pop the seat off. So on the Z's, key's down here. Key goes right there. And we're gonna pop the seat off. All right, once you got the seat off, the first thing that we're gonna do is work on getting this side piece off. So what you wanna do, we need to take this back piece off right here. It's gonna be these two push pins. They're both plastic, just get something. And push them in. I have bowls laid out for them, just so I can keep everything together. You're just going to take them out, go from the bottom, and push up, pull them out. You're going to take, just grab it like this, pull back on it. Uh, you do have these little clips like that, so you have to pull back, and then this piece right here goes into that. So once you have that off, set off the side. Now we're going to work on getting this piece off. So in order to get this piece off, you're gonna have to come under here and get one hand or something behind here and just slide up until you get to here on this piece. And you're gonna pop that clip off like that. And once you have that off, come up here, you have two Phillips screwdrivers that you are going to undo. And then you're gonna do the same thing with this. You're gonna push it back and then lift up on it. One important thing to note when you're taking these screws off is there's a little plastic washer under there to protect your plastics. So you wanna make sure that you get that and don't drop it in whenever you're trying to get it off. So I just get under it like that and then I just pull the screw up because they're stuck in a rubber grommet. So just set them off to the side. Do the same thing, get the rubber, or get the plastic, uh, plastic washer and set it off to the side. All right, now that you got the screws out, you're just gonna come in here. There's gonna be a, a little piece right here that's sticking through into a rubber grommet, and you're just gonna pry that out. This one's already taken out. You're just gonna slide this backwards and then lift up on it. And it just takes a little bit of wiggling, and it'll come right off. You just wanna set that off to the side. All right, now with the side off, you can see all the wires. You're going to take this right here and you're just going to push it down on it and pull off to the side to get this off. Once you have that off, your driver's license plate light is going to be under there. So you're just going to move it out of the way. You're going to have a little rubber boot around it. I already took mine off. But once you have this off, just push down on it and pull out. Disconnect that. So for you, your license plate light is going to come through here and run down below here. I already took it out, but if you're doing this for the first time, you're gonna wanna disconnect this and just get it out for easier access. All right, just switch to wide angle because my camera's messing up. But next up, you're gonna come over to this side and you have your two turn signal wires right here. What you're gonna wanna do is come right down in here and you're gonna get your finger down uh, in here and you're gonna push down on that and pull out. You can use a screwdriver or something to pry it out, but I'm just gonna use my hands. So I'm gonna put you up real quick and do that. All right, now with all the wiring disconnected and everything, you're gonna come down to the bottom here and you'll see that there are four 10 millimeter bolts right under there that you are going to get. I like to disconnect the wiring first just so you don't have to worry about leaving a bolt in. Uh, you can do it however you want. I just found this way to be the easiest.
All right, now with that disconnected and taken off, all you're gonna do, you're gonna have your wires right here. You're just gonna run them through the hole right there. Do it a little smoother than me. Uh, I always do it on one hand, so it just fell out. All right, but that's it for that. So now that you have this off, just go set it off to the side wherever you want. I have tons of random motorcycle parts here, like my rear set deletes for my CBR. But with that taken off, what I do, you got your license plate light right there. I just tuck that under there, snap that back into place. Other than that, everything else is fine. And we're just gonna put everything back together now. All right, we're gonna start off with this piece here. And what you're gonna wanna do is take these clips here and push them into the side and then run it back. And make sure that you get this piece on the inside of here. So just push that back and it'll clip in back here. Once you have that in place, you can take this plastic piece here and push that into place and that will snap all back into place. After that, Take your other piece for the rear tail light, put it in place like that, and then just wiggle it into place. And take your plastic clips and just take the bottom, push up on them to where they come out of the top, and then you're just gonna Put it in, do that with both sides, and then just push these until you hear a click, and they're flush. Now that is not going to come anywhere. Now, or take your Phillips screws and your plastic washers, grab yourself your screwdriver again, and you're just going to want to put that in place and get the screw in. And you're gonna have to push these into place because they are rubber grommets holding them in. And once you have that, go ahead and tighten them down. All right, last thing that I'm going to do is just put these bolts back into place underneath it just to have them there in case I need them for tomorrow. All right, everything is good to go. So we're going to flip the bike around, get the CBR in here, and we are gonna pick back up tomorrow once we have the fender eliminator in. All right, guys, it's been about four or five days, but all my stuff has finally came in. So we're gonna get the fender eliminator on so we can put a license plate on the bike and ride it a little bit more safely. All right, so what we got is the fender eliminator kit as well as the license plate light. So we're gonna take the seat off, take out those four 10 millimeter bolts and put these on. All right, now that I've taken out the four bolts, what we're gonna do is take the hardware that came with the fender eliminator. We're just gonna take those. And these are going to be, it looks like a four millimeter Allen key. And I'm, you can use the stock hardware if you want to. I'm just going to use the hardware that was included. You're gonna to want to center the bracket before you tighten it down all the way. Up next, you're gonna take your license plate. In this case, I just have a little novelty plate and your license plate light, which does have 3M on the back here to stick onto the back of your plate. I am not gonna do that. I am just going to rest it there and let it sit there. Take your wires for your license plate light and run them through this middle piece here and up into the bike from the bottom. Now just take your mounting hardware 
for your license plate. Take your plate, center it up with the light. I'm just gonna put the hardware in there to keep it in place for now. I'm just gonna start one side for now. Once again, I'm not going to tighten these up all the way yet. I'm going to make sure the plate is centered and the light is centered. All right, now that everything's on, the last thing that we need to do is connect these wires right here to the positive and negative terminal for the license plate light. And I'm going to show you how to do it using these connectors. All right, so these two connectors right here, they come with the license plate light. And how you're going to use them is you're going to unscrew the bigger part and bottom part like so and i'm going to put the other one in a little bowl so i can keep track of it and you're going to take the bottom part right here i don't know how well you can see that you're going to come into here and it's going to go onto the wire it's going to be a little harder to see i can't really move the camera too much but Put that onto the wire like that. Then you're going to take your other part right here and screw it into that. All right, well, that was a pain in the ass, but I finally did it and I connected this one. So now what you're going to want to do is take this piece right here. I'm doing this one hand so it's kind of hard and then you're just going to slip it and my camera is messing up slip the wire into it like that push it through and then tighten it down into that all right well these things suck but i finally got them on so now what i'll do is i'm just going to take the wire that came with it uh tighten all these back up and just tuck it away right back into there and then that's going to be finished all right with it all tucked away looks pretty clean in there just gonna put the seat on As the install on the TST Fender Eliminator and low profile license plate light. And as you can see, whenever I turn it on, the light is on. All right, well, anyway, that is going to be it for the video. And that is going to be it for part one of the stunt build series of the Z125. If you guys liked the video, be sure to like and subscribe and stay tuned for many more parts to come in the stunt build series. And until next one, have a good one.